Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I got something a little different for you today. I'm gonna to be trying out this leather jacket from The Jacket Maker with lots of different jeans and cowboy boots so you can see if this leather jacket will be right for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. This is the Inferno Leather Jacket by The Jacket Maker. Huge shout out to The Jacket Maker. They sent me this jacket for the purposes of this video, and it's gonna be a lot of fun trying it on with a bunch of different jeans and cowboy boots just to see how this style works. It's a pretty simple style, but before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's jump straight into the rundown. Yes, this is the Inferno leather jacket from the Jacket Maker. It's sheepskin leather, so it's really light and really supple. The leather has a semi-aniline finish, which is gonna give this a little bit more protection and resistance to stains. This is the black color, but they got a bunch of different kinds of colors at thejacketmaker.com and a bunch of different styles too. I highly recommend that you just visit and check it out because it's you could get lost there. You could spend like an hour on their website just checking out all the jackets. We got a metal YKK zip closure, but the zipper is on backwards. And when I told my wife that it was awkward because the zipper is backwards, she says, oh, it's how zippers are on women's jackets. So it might take a little bit of time to get used to that it took me it's like messing with my brain a little bit but uh, it's not that big of a deal for me the lining and inner shell of this jacket is a quilted viscose and that's a semi synthetic silk like material that's lightweight and breathes well it's cheaper than silk too it has a shirt like collar up here which I really like a lot it's very versatile looking it's got two pockets in the front and two pockets on the inside as well. Also for the sizing, I used their chart to measure myself and I originally ordered the medium, which was too small. So I ended up with the large. Now, me measuring myself is an obvious opportunity for mistakes. So if you are measuring yourself, I would say err on the larger side than on the smaller side. This Inferno black leather jacket is coming in at $210 at thejacketmaker.com. Now I think it's about time to try this on with a bunch of different jeans and boots. All right, I first wanted to try the Grease to Lightning look and I got my No Man's Apothecary belt as well. But here I got the black on black with black boots. The jeans are a Levi's Western fit and I'm stacking them here so they're a longer size for me. And I have a Nakona Uto shrunken shoulder bullhide black boot. And I think it looks great. Grease lightning all the way. Let's go. Next up, I wanted to try the jacket with more of a lighter jean. And I was kind of skeptical of how it might look at first, but I ended up liking it. This is the Levi's 505 paired with the Tony Lama 6250 shrunken shoulder bullhide. It's kind of a gray and it has an R toe on it. I think this looks really good. Again, I'm stacking the jeans here. If you wanna see any of the videos of any of these, you can see them at the links in the description. Here is more of a darker blue and a boot cut. This is my true size, so I'm not stacking here. It's the Wrangler rooted boot cut jeans paired with some Tony Lama J toes. So this is a little bit more of a pointed round look and I think it looks good with boot cut jeans as well. This is a, a nice pairing that I think works really well too. All right, back to the black on black, but this time I have on the Heritage boots. Again, this is the Levi's Western Fit jean and I'm stacking them here. Those are the Heritage Flores, more of a brown boot with a snip toe. And usually I'm not one to pair, you know, brown leathers with black leathers, but the Heritage Flores does have a lot of black in it because it's hand tooled and I think it's working here. I wanted to try them out with some brown jeans as well. So here are some Carhartts and I also have on some square toe boots. These are the Ariat Booker boots with the square toe and a shorter heel and I think it works well. This is an example of just my regular size jean. 
Again, I'm not stacking here, and it's working well. I feel like uh, I was kind of skeptical of the brown and the black together with the jeans, but I always have been. I'm coming around, guys, I'm coming around. This is probably my favorite look of the day. The Woodburn Wrangler Retro Slim Straight Jeans with the Rattlesnake Blackjack Boots. Gotta love it. I mean, Rattlesnake boots are just badass as it is, especially when you pair them with gray or black jeans. Then you add the black Inferno jacket from the Jacket Maker, and it just brings it to a whole new level of badassery. All right, guys, I really like this Inferno leather jacket by the Jacket Maker. The sheepskin leather on the outside feels so soft. It's so supple. It feels great. The lining feels okay. You know, it's not the most luxurious thing that I've ever tried, but they do have other jackets with softer linings. This isn't a winter jacket. So I wore this outside last night and it was 50 degrees. It was perfect for that temperature. Wore it again this morning when it was 30 degrees. Definitely not a winter jacket. Not meant for temperatures that low. So I'd say this jacket is good for like uh, something between 40 degrees and mid 60 degrees, depending on whether you run hot or cold as it is by default. Um, still, I really like how this looks all together. I am getting a little bit of threads, I'm just noticing now, coming loose here inside the jacket. So I'm pretty sure this was caused by a carabiner that I wear on my belt sometimes for like keys or for my dog's leash. So if you wear something on your belt, it might rub against the lining here and cause that to fray a little bit, at least on this style of leather jacket. So that's like uh, maybe you have a phone holder that you wear on your belt, or maybe you wear a knife on your belt. So if you're still interested in getting a leather jacket and you wear stuff on your belt, then they do have other options for that. But uh, I'm seeing that that is pretty much the only downside that I'm finding to this leather jacket if you do happen to wear something on your belt. Overall, I really like how it looks. If you guys are interested in checking out other jackets that the jacket maker has, because they got a bunch, not only leather jackets, but they got other stuff too. Their leather jackets though look the best. I got the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. If you guys want to see more leather jackets here on the channel, let me know. Or just, you know, jackets, shirts in general. Let me know down in the comments. I can, you know, pair them with jeans and boots like I did in this one. Uh, this was a first for me. So if you'd like to see anything else, please let me know and subscribe while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys around. Peace. It's a beautiful leather, but the line and phrase. Still it's a jacket I'd wear every day. Yes, it's beautiful. Why don't you check out this video up here about the noble man's apothecary belt that I was talking about earlier. Or I got a video down here about uh, Jesse James, I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.